I think we're live again. Thanks for joining in. Hey, real quick, the question that reads, I think down there is, how many times have you played small? I can tell you that I cannot count and just being fully transparent, honest, real, I cannot count how many times I've played small in my life. Uh, I can tell you that every time I have played small, I'm the one who suffered for it. I'm the one who suffered for it. And if you ride race bikes uh, such as I did um, to my BMX brethren, I definitely suggest you think about that. And the reason why I'm bringing up playing up small is because it's really in your language and your thinking. And often, if you can catch yourself or someone saying, I just want to, I just want to make that main, I just want to pay my bills, I just want to get that job, I just want to, you might be playing small. And I'm not here to tell you what your goals should be. I'm not here to create your targets. I work with a lot of people and train people and uh, teach them, and we work very closely to, to figure out what those targets and goals are. I am here to say that if you find yourself saying, I just want to, you might be playing small. And personal story for, for me in my, in my professional career when I was racing, there were times where I just wanted to make the main or I just wanted to um, be sponsored or whatever it was. And every time that I was operating in that mindset, every time I was operating in that mindset, it was so much more difficult for me to achieve what was truly in my heart, which was to win, which, to, which was to be the best guy, which was to have uh, um, sponsors calling me or to, to really go after I want. It was harder for me to even reach the I just want a goal when I was playing small. I just got off the phone with a bright young person who, uh, as a favor, they, they wanted to, to talk about their career and, and where they should go. Anyways, long story short, she's about to graduate college and she kept saying that she can't go, she wanted to go be a medical doctor. Um, but the thought of med school and, and maybe, you know, the, the odds of her getting in weren't that great. And so she was like, well, how much, you know, what would it take to be this or to do that? And I, you know, I just want to do this, but, and then she would always go back to, but being a psychiatrist, being a medical doctor is what I really want. And I, I couldn't do it. I could not tell her what everyone else has been telling her which was to play it safe, which was to, you know, since her grades might not have been what her classmates were, to not apply because it's really hard to get into medical school. That was her first dream. And she, she, even, she even agreed. I called it. I said, I'm not going to tell you what other people may say. And she said, which broke my heart, no one tells me this. No one tells her she can do it. No one tells her to go as high as she possibly can. I would have been doing her a disservice if I told her to play it safe. Yes, medical school is difficult. Yes, it's difficult to go all the way. So what? So what? It ain't easy, but it's simple. The steps are simple. In project management, they call it critical path. Right? Certain things that need to be met on your way to achieving a certain outcome. And we get overwhelmed by meeting those objectives, meeting those targets, and so then we play it safe. Well, I just want to make a good living. Well, I just want enough money to X, Y, Z, one, two, three. I don't know. But the problem with the... I got a phone call. Sorry about that. The problem with I just want to is... It leads to regret. It leads to you being 12 years down the road or eight years down the road. You want to be a lawyer? 
College is four years, law school is three. Either way, those seven years are going to pass. So you can have seven years pass and be a lawyer or seven years pass and not. I'd much rather you be a lawyer and then decide not to. You want to be a doctor? Well, college is four years and med school plus your residency, that, that could be another eight or whatever. I'd rather have that time go and have you be the doctor and decide not to than not be the doctor. I can tell you as a psychologist, as a trainer, as a coach, as a speaker, I see people come to see me. People come to my seminars. They come to hear me speak because they're not living the life they want to live. They're not living in that dream life because it's just a dream. It's just this thing that I think about that would be nice if it happened, if the chips fell the right way. And that's not, that's not where to go. You, you play your chips. You play your cards. And if we're playing small, no matter what stage we're in it, and I know, I know millionaires who play small. I know thousandaires who play small. I know students who play small. I've been guilty of it myself. And actually right now, right now at this moment, you are witnessing me crossing over and saying, you know what? I'm going to continue to play big. That's my promise to me. That's my promise to my family. That's my promise to you. Um, if you come to see me speak, if you come to, if you want to work with me one on one, I would be doing you a disservice if I played small. Again, you choose your goals. You choose what you want, how you want to live, what your big is. But I'd be careful with I just wanna. I just want to. I don't just want to. I want to. Right? It's a matter of being. It's a matter of responsibility to yourself and to your dreams. Anyways, back to the conversation with this girl, this bright young lady. Like I said, I had to tell her. I had to tell her the truth. That she, that the life she wants is literally... A matter of her choice. I'm not on the medical boards. I don't guarantee entry into any medical school. However, what I do know is there's a shortage of doctors and she really wants to do it. And that's all that matters is that she wants to do it and she thinks she can. But if she doesn't put herself out there to do it, it'll never happen. So she left that conversation playing big and I'm proud of that and she'll be put in touch with my man um, Dr. Lee Clarence Lee Jr. who we, we do a seminar together um, who it took him four years to get into med school and he's killing it now and he's speaking and writing books and he's running a very successful medical uh, clinic so and that's just real like it all it doesn't always work the way we want to however create that critical path what are the things you need to do to meet the objective and you may not know them yet but i can guarantee you the first thing you need to do and i don't say need often but the third first thing you want to do is start the first thing you want to do is start so please do not be scared of the work ahead of you be scared of the regret later on if you don't go out and do it as you know i do love you guys for sure um reach me dr jason richardson.com that's dr jason richardson.com i have taken the conversation more over to twit uh to instagram excuse me at real dr j rich and um i'd love to come in and spread mindsets build belief and Come give your team, organization, or company an, a mindset overhaul and um, so I can see you guys winning it, playing big. Take care, and um, we'll talk in the future. Peace.